Welcome back to another video brought to you by Binary Lunar. In a previous video, we showed you how to dissolve any logo into particles using the particle system. But in today's video, I'll show you how to dissolve any logo or sprite into particles, but this time using the visual effect graph. I give the credits of this video for CodeMonkey because I used the knowledge he shared on his channel to create this video and I did some adjustment and changes to it. This is Ramez and let's get started. Create new Unity 2D project, then go to the package manager and install the visual effect graph. Right click in the project tab and click create visual effects, visual effect graph, and let's name it dissolve logo to particles. Drag that VFX graph to the scene, then click window, visual effects, utilities, point cache, bake tool. That tool will help you to create an asset that convert or stores the location and the color of each point for your sprite. So change the bake mode to texture, then drag the logo there and make sure to check the export colors, then click save to cache. But if you did that, you will get an error because we need first to set the read and write on each sprite you want to use to enable it. Just check that for each sprite you want to use in the... So after enabling read and write for the sprite, close the point cache tool, then reopen it and repeat the steps. Change the bake mode to texture and add the logo. Check the color, export colors, then click save point cache file. Now let's open the VFX graph and create a node, point cache node, and select in the assets, the point cache asset we just created. And in spawn, delete the constant spawn rate and add, instead of it, burst, a periodic burst. Then drag the point count from the point cache to the count in the per periodic burst. Initialize particles, delete the set velocity random and delete the set lifetime random. Then add set lifetime node and set that to two seconds. Now create set position from map and then link the position from the point cache to that attribute map. Then also create another node set color from map and drag the color from the point cache to that new node and set both the th sample mode for the color and the position sequential the capacity to 1 million particles then you can change the value scale in the set position from map so you can make the particles matches the size of your sprite based on my experiment for this sprite uh, i need to change the value scale to 10 on both x and y now go down to the output particles and then change the main texture from default particle to default dash particle, the white texture. And change the size over lifetime to be from 0 0.5 to 0. That means the particle will be big then reduce its size to 0 to disappear. We will start getting parts of the sprite then change the set color over lifetime to color mode alpha and make sure that the gradient starts from white to fully transparent since the logo i have downloaded have a high resolution so i needed to increase the capacity of particles to 3 million particles to cover all the sprite now we have a particle that looks like exactly the sprite we want to dissolve into particles so all what we need now is to go to update section for the particles and make them scatter. We can do that using two ways. First one is to add. Then you need to play with the turbulence settings till you reach satisfying results. For me, I found setting the intensity to 2, the drag to 2, and the octaves to 6, and the roughness to 0.16 gave a good result for me. The second way to scatter the particles is adding the 
vector field. Vector field is, you can say, as a mesh which have uh, vectors which directs the particles to which way they should go. And the turbulence is scattering all the part particles randomly in all directions, while the vector field can direct the direction of the particles, the way they should move. So you can use that to uh, give direction, to give direction to the particles to move to. For example, if you set the x value higher than 1, the particles starts to move to the right. And also the same for y, you can move up. So to move to upright, we can set the x to 5, y to 5, that will move to upright, like maybe moving smoke or the winds going to the upright. Then let's change the camera background color to black and add the logo to the scene. Currently, the particles are emitting periodically for the testing purposes, but in the end, we wanted to do single burst. Also, the logo stays visible all the time, so we just need to create uh, a clip that makes the logo fade out the moment that the VFX graph starts. And we want that VFX to emit once. So to do that, let's go to the timeline and create a new timeline. You can apply that to a new game object. So let's create a new game object, name it timeline, then create timeline playable asset. Uh, I save that inside timeline folder to keep things arranged. Now let's drag the logo to the timeline and create uh, animation track. What we want to do is start with an empty scene, then fade in the logo, then make it fade out the moment that we activate the VFX graph. Now let's hit record, select the logo, select the color of it and set the alpha to zero because we want to start with an empty scene, then fade in the logo. Then at frame 60, make the alpha to full again. Now we need to change the periodic burst to single burst from the VFX graph. So delete the periodic burst and add single burst node and then connect the count from the point cache to it. That will make the bursts goes once. Also, you need to delete the initial event name because that can trigger the emission twice. Now drag the VFX graph to the timeline to create VFX graph activation clip. Move it to frame 240, I think that's enough. Then hit record on the logo again. We want to fade out the logo. Change the color alpha to 100. I mean to keep it 100 at the start of the fade out. Then add frame around 270 change alpha back to zero. That will make the logo fade out the moment the VFX graph activated. And that's it. That's how you can dissolve your logo into particles using the VFX graph. That can be used for the intro for your company or studio or can be used even in game when you kill enemies to make them dissolve maybe. Uh, then I created another th scene with another logo, but I have did some additions to it, which is adding the glowy dissolve shader graph, which I did a video about it previously. So if you didn't watch that and want to apply this, I included the link for that video in the description below. And that's it for today's video. Don't forget to smash like, subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching and thanks for our supporters on Patreon. Professor Layton, Fast Root, Parker Nelson, Jacquimar GR, Giamoco Mariani, Philippe Romano, FSS, Falcon Jazz, Eli Salikov, Jace Eli Fever, Stabilarion Canifolv, Pedro Transong Jens Valentine, 
Kojo Opuni, Rick Jabowski, Jack Crystal, Benjamin Bench, and Mohamed Aydin. Till next video, see you soon.